A big ol' hunk of metal sat on top of four wheels, sometimes black and other times brightly colored. We all think we know what a car is. They ferry us from A to B. But there are some cars out there that truly break the mold of what a car can be. Some of them are truly bonkers in absolutely brilliant ways. These are the most unusual cars in the world. Number 15. Eight-Wheeled Sedan Toyota When you imagine a car with eight wheels, you imagine a long vehicle like a limo. Or maybe even one with two wheels side-by-side side on each corner of the car. What you probably didn't imagine was this car. This eight-wheeled sedan is a Toyota Vios limo, but unlike one you would have ever seen before. Most Toyotas like it are in use as taxis, but you wouldn't find all too many pedestrians keen to set foot in this vehicle. It has two wheels in the front, so everything looks normal. But then you set your attention on the back, and that's where the confusion sets on. There are three wheels on each side, but set in the shape of a pyramid. Two tires are set on the ground, and one is sitting on top of it. Gemma Ripa taxi owner Ronnie Gunawan owns the car, and the grid auto team undertook the modifications. Believe it or not, the car drives relatively normally at low speeds. The suspension functions as it should over bumps, and all wheels seem to function fine. However, turning is a different story. It has less control and minimal braking power. We don't see this car hitting the production line anytime soon. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. I mean, quite why a car needs so many wheels, we have no idea, but there we have it. This car is actually a prototype made by some mad genius who is slowly working toward recreating the Batmobile from the Christopher Nolan era of the Batman movies. He has previously made the Batmobile from the Tim Burton era of Batman movies, and this is his next project. At the moment, he's only at stage one, fitting his car out with a lot of wheels so it can handle all and any terrain. The guy hasn't made clear what the next stage in his development is, but we're sure looking forward to seeing where his design goes from here. Hopefully it's not weapons. But it will be awesome as and when he gets around to working on the body of the car, seeing as he's almost nailed the ship. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. 1959 Cadillac Cyclone. If there's ever a car we'd want to see hit the production line, it would be the 1959 Cadillac Cyclone. This futuristic piece of automotive brilliance was the brainchild of General Motors Vice President Harley Earl. Harley wanted to create his dream car to mark the end of an era. Earl was known throughout his career as a man who had a gift with automotive artistry. His cars were long and low, and that's what brought him to the attention of GM in the first place. Therefore, it was of no surprise to anyone that the Cyclone would be something great, even if it didn't make it past the stage of a concept car. It was built on a 104-inch wheelbase chassis with all-wheel independent suspension. It had a rear-mounted automatic transaxle and a front-mounted 390-inch cubed engine. Strangely enough, the exhaust wasn't at the back. It was positioned ahead of the front wheels. The car also had twin nose cones on the front, which were also fitted with radar sensors as a collision avoidance system. The bubble top canopy was a head turner, and the silver paint job was designed for UV protection. As if the car wasn't already ahead of its time, it had sliding electric doors and an automatic opener for the canopy. Number 13. BMW Isetta. If you think today's smart cars are cute, then you're gonna be saying, aww, when you see the BMW Isetta. While you won't find all too many of these getting around today, or any, they were strangely popular when they were released to the market in the 1950s and 60s.
BMW released this tiny car in a whopping 45 different colors, and with versions ranging from standard to deluxe. They were also registered in Germany as motorcycles, probably given that they weren't all that much larger than them. Over 160,000 units were sold before cars like the Volkswagen Beetle put an end to the Isetta craze. So, what made this little car so special? It was tiny, but mighty. It could achieve 60 miles to the gallon, had a swing-away front door with a movable steering column, and all-weather protection. People also enjoyed how economical and easy to park they were, and that they could fit two people. But, you know, not a lot else, of course. The BMW may not have been the family car that everyone needed, but it was one of those cars that you just wanted to own because it was so unique. Number 12. Bloodhound. You won't find too many children who haven't raced their toy cars around the carpet of their homes saying that they've got the fastest car in the world. Most of those kids will grow out of that fast car stage, but others don't. Those children then grow up to produce cars like the Bloodhound, a jet-powered car developed in 2008 to break the land speed record. <laughs> The Bloodhound was a car that looked like a hybrid of a space rocket and a racing car. Thousands had been spent on developing it to go faster than the speed record of today of 763 miles per hour. However, in 2018, the entire scheme was about to fall over with no funding to take it any further. That was until Ian Warhurst, a Yorkshire businessman, stepped in with the financing to keep it going. Now, the car's future is looking bright. Andy Green will be behind the wheel to attempt to break his own record, and they hope to travel at speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour by this year or next. Number 11. Renault KWID with Drone If there's anything that raises a driver's blood pressure without fail, it's delays on the road. Gridlock traffic and accidents can ruin anyone's day, so Renault is trying to fix that problem. Sure, they can't fix the road network or stop people from having car accidents, but they can allow drivers to choose the best, most uncongested route. They plan to do this with a drone and car package. The Renault KWID was a concept car back in 2014 and was unveiled at the Delhi Auto Show. It was the first ever to have an unmanned aerial vehicle or drone sold as part of the vehicle. The drone would be positioned in the car's roof and could be launched via a tablet. Otherwise, the driver could set GPS points for the drone to follow and match your car's driving speed. The drone could fly ahead, see what the road was like before you could see it, then allow you to choose the best route accordingly. You could even watch a replay of the footage, just like you were a part of Gran Turismo. Number 10. Sea Lion if you got money to burn but no space up on your driveway for that luxury boat you've always wanted, then don't worry. All you need is a sea lion. Why buy a boat and a car if you can have a vehicle that is a boat? The Sea Lion is a project that has been set up through Fantasy Ventures by M. Witt. The car has a price tag of $259,500, and it's being designed to travel both on water and land. But if that isn't adventurous enough, the car's creator also wants to make sure it's the world's fastest amphibian car. To do so, he's making sure it's crafted with only the best parts and workmanship money can buy. The body is TIG welded aluminum partnered with CNC milled parts, and it travels at speeds of around 180 miles per hour on land. And that's not without its final engine. It currently has a 174 horsepower Mazda 13B rotary engine, but it will eventually have a 300 to 600 horsepower Renesis RX-8 engine so that it can set the sea speed record. The finished sea line will be able to travel at 45 miles per hour across the water, which is not exactly a snail's pace. Number 9. Toyota FV2 
People often form an emotional attachment to their vehicles. Still, that statement couldn't be any more accurate than with the Toyota FV2. This concept car is a small pod vehicle that you can drive sitting down or standing up. It connects to drivers on a physical and emotional level. You might be wondering how that works, and yes, it is a bit odd. The pod has one wheel in the front and two in the back, and the colors and patterns on the car's exterior reflect the mood of the driver. Strangely enough, this car also doesn't have a steering wheel. You shift your body weight around to move the car forward, backward, left, and right. With the help of image and voice recognition, the car will also collect data about the driver's mood to suggest driving routes. It'll even notice your skill and will offer driving techniques to suit. The car is so far advanced that it almost doesn't seem real. And it's not yet. It was unveiled as a concept at the Tokyo Motor Show in 2013. Then again in 2016 at the Chicago Auto Show. There's still no news on when we'll be seeing this emotionally attuned vehicle on our city streets. Number 8. Phoenix Bamboo Car We've known for a long time just how versatile bamboo can be. Not only is it a delicious snack for a panda, but it's also something we use to make cutlery, bedding, bicycles, clothing, cutting boards, and more. Now though, we could be making cars out of it. German product designer Albrecht Berkner nailed it, and Filipino designer Kenneth Kobenpew came up with the idea of a car made with a bamboo shell. This lightweight, sustainable form of transport could lead the entire human race to a more sustainable and greener future. The car would have a naturally woven skin of bamboo that would degrade at the same speed as the car itself. But if it did degrade faster, the bamboo shell could be replaced at a minimal cost. The handmade frames could even be customized in different shapes to suit each vehicle owner's preferences. While there's no telling whether this car would ever make it into production, or when, there's no denying it's turned heads. In fact, it even caught the eye of the team at Mercedes-Benz. So watch this space. Number 7. The TFX Flying Car no one likes being stuck in traffic, but if the TFX goes into production, then it's only a matter of time before that's a thing of the past. Imagine being able to get in your car, lift it off the ground, and fly it to work or school. The TFX is a proposed vehicle that could be in production sooner than you think. It has four seats and the capability to take off and land without a runway. Terrafugia unveiled the plug-in hybrid electric car in 2013, and significant progress has been made. It has a claimed range of around 500 miles and can travel up to 410 miles while cruising at speeds of 100 miles per hour. The flying car is also fitted with a 99 bhp rotary aircraft engine that powers both wheels for driving and rotors for flying. The good news is you don't have to be a pilot to fly it. It's autonomous but does have manual controls and an override function. There's also a parachute system should it be required. Learning to drive this car, believe it or not, is simple. It can take around five hours to master it and the car fits into a standard single car garage. Development of the TFX has taken around 10 years, but the aircraft is expected to enter service next year. Number 6. Aeromobile As more and more companies learn how to make their cars fly, we're beginning to see more concepts hit the market. Aeromobile's model is turning heads, and we like what we see. This Slovakian startup company produced a sleek and stylish flying car where worth a whopping $1.6 million. But don't worry, if you're short on cash, you could also buy an entry-level model for just $1.3 million. Quick, flip up your couch cushions and find that loose change, for Aeromobile is only producing 500 of them. The Aeromobile 4.0 flying car was first shown to the public at the Paris Les Bourget Airport in June 2017. 
during the International Paris Air Show. The goal of the car was to cut travel time and allow everyday car drivers to travel up to 620 miles far quicker than ever before. Believe it or not, the design of this car has been coming along swimmingly, and people were supposedly able to get their hands on them by 2020, with pre-orders taken beforehand. Time will tell when we see up to 500 aeromobiles fighting for airspace. Number 5. The Wind Explorer how often do you catch yourself complaining about the price of gas? Well, maybe you need to stop complaining and start taking action. Which is exactly what Dirk Gian and Stefan Simmerer did. Traveling 3,107 miles, the TV host and engineer from Germany spent just $13. And it wasn't even on fuel. The pair traveled across Australia from Albany to Sydney in a lightweight electric vehicle called the Wind Explorer. The car was powered by the wind with electricity generating wind turbines as well as kites. The 18-day trip broke many records, including crossing a continent with a wind-powered vehicle, the longest distance covered in a vehicle like it in 36 hours, and covering the most distance on land. Before you race out to try and buy a Wind Explorer, know that it's still in the concept phase. The 441 pound vehicle, which includes a battery pack, has a carbon fiber and aluminum frame with sports bicycle tires. The lithium ion battery pack charges overnight with a wind turbine when conditions allow. The men set off from Perth in Western Australia on January 21st, 2011, and they arrived in Sydney on February 14th. During the entire trip, they reached speeds of around 50 miles per hour. Number 4. The Thorium It can often feel like you've only just filled your car with gas and then it's nearly empty again. It's a never-ending cycle of spending money just to get to the places where you earn it. But what if you could fill up once and then never again? That's what one company is proposing with a vehicle that runs on thorium fuel. Thorium is a dense material that has around 20 million times more energy than coal of the same size. It is a naturally occurring radioactive element that was discovered in 1828 by a Norwegian mineralogist. A Swedish chemist then found it and named it Thorium after the god Thor. The company called Laser Power Systems was quite intrigued by this mineral and designed a concept car that would run on it. Just 8 grams of the stuff would let this car run for 1 million miles. As a result, the vehicle would most likely outlive you on a single tank of fuel. The problem is, we're moving away from such types of materials, which means this concept is never likely to take off. Number 3. Google's Driverless Car Many of us have dreamed of being rich and famous enough to have people drive us around. We could get into the car, say where we want to go, then sit back, read a book, or just enjoy the ride. Until a few years ago, it never seemed possible. But Google, good old Google, has our backs. Most importantly, it's, it's the necessary step. We don't need to be famous, just a bit rich instead. Google's driverless car has been in the project stage since around 2008. They modified the Toyota Prius, played around with Lexus SUVs, and installed things like sensors, cruise control cameras, and spinner laser scanners. But now, they've taken it one step further with a new self-driving car. They became the first company to build one without a steering wheel, accelerator, and brakes. But don't worry, there is an emergency brake. All you need to do is get into the smart car looking vehicle, press the button to start it, input your destination into Google Maps, and relax. The car does all the hard work for you. You can now arrive to work entirely calm rather than frazzled from the trip. Number 2. Upside Down Ford F-150 The United States is full of F-150s. In fact, it was the best-selling truck in 2019, with over 900,000 units finding new homes. 
So if you've got one, you're probably gonna find yourself nearly hopping into someone else's at a parking spot at least once. Well, then it took me six months to complete. Unless you're Illinois Collision Center owner Rick Sullivan. Of course, he does own an F-150, but unlike any you would have ever seen. It has been paired with a 1991 Ford Ranger to create an upside-down, topsy-turvy vehicle. Rick spent $6,000 and six months joining the two trucks together to create his one-of-a-kind and road-legal vehicle. It has four wheels spinning in the air, four underneath, and an inverted truck body for the passengers. It even has side mirrors at the base to make it look even quirkier. Rick said people are amazed when they see his creation. They even request that he pulls over off the road so they can get a closer look. Rick used his knowledge in the collision industry of seeing many upturned vehicles to create this one-of-a-kind piece of automotive art. Number 1. Bugatti Chiron Lego Car most automotive engineers will tell you that building a car from scratch is not easy. It takes hundreds of man hours and a lot of tinkering to get it right. So you would have to be entirely insane not only to attempt to build one, but to do it out of Lego. But that is exactly what a team of LEGO experts did. Back in 2017, LEGO Senior Art Director Alan Jensen said a meeting was held to organize a design brief for a LEGO Bugatti Chiron. A full-sized one that would actually move. It seemed insane, but the finished result shows you that it was actually achievable. The moving, functioning vehicle had a steel frame and real wheels, but there were only three parts of the entire build that weren't Lego. The team spent 13,500 hours and used over 1 million Lego Technic bricks to build the 1.5 ton Bugatti Chiron. Three layers were linked together with pins and beams, and Technic panels were used for sturdiness. Most of the entire build was created from memory, for there isn't any instruction book for building a life-size Bugatti. Are you happy to keep your old trusty Toyota Corolla, or are you ready to upgrade to something unique and a bit absurd like one of these cars? Have you seen any of these in person? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!